Hi, welcome back to Movie Review Mom. Today, the movie I'm reviewing is a Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. This movie is rated G. It's one hour and 26 minutes. And the movie review mom grade I gave it is a B minus. First of all, picture a Shaun the Sheep movie version of E.T. the Extraterrestrial with no dialogue. And you've got this animated stop motion comedy that is the first feature length sequel Ardman has ever made. In case you don't remember, Shaun the Sheep, the first movie, actually received an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Feature Film about four years ago and earned over $100 million, $100 million in box office ticket sales alone. I'm sure the studio was hoping for a repeat. And this adorable claymation film is directed by Richard Phelan and Will Belcher. It was going to be released last May in the United States, but then was delayed until December 2019. So while I absolutely adore all of the Wallace and Gromit shorts, the Arvin feature films always leave me just a little bit disappointed. And don't get me wrong, this movie is super cute, but it just didn't hold my attention. And I'm not sure if it was the lack of dialogue or exactly what. It just kind of felt like it was really intended for very young audiences. Now, some adults will laugh and be amused in the beginning more often than towards the end. Everybody kind of starts to fatigue, I think, in the very end. It's very sweet. Um, there are a few tips for parents and that there are a few times when it's helpful to be able to read things on the screen. Young children will miss certain visual gags because they won't be able to read what sign says, which also might be story points. But again, if they're young children, they're not gonna care about any of that. Some creatures are in perilous situations, but the tension is never very high because there are some magical powers that sort of prevent anybody from really getting hurt or really getting in trouble. And another tip for parents is the merchandising is going to be pretty cute. I mean, you've got these cute sheep, you've got a cute little alien who's a new creature, and then, of course, some of the other lovable characters. So just saying... <laughs> <laughs> Your kids might want some of these things if they see them. Now, some positive themes are friendship, self-confidence, adventure, and family. Those are weighed with shaming, body shaming, and I, not identity shaming, but sort of not being good enough and bullying even. So some things that I really liked are, first of all, the stop motion animation is just impressive as always there are always plenty of cute things to look at in each frame when you're watching the movie which i love there's just always lots of stuff going on and yet the animation is simple so they pull it off really well there's a lot of humor through visual gags and adorable sound effects that you know almost make up for no dialogue especially towards the very end there's this scene with the little alien is speaking and it's just hilarious because of the sound effects but anyway unusual for stop motion though there is a tiny bit of cgi that's used to make lula's floppy ears look sparkly when she's doing something magical now lula is this alien that i'm talking about this new character that's introduced the song that plays on the farmer's radio is called Forever Autumn from Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War of the Worlds. Now, even though the movie title is called Armageddon, it's not like religious end of the world or anything like that, or even really evil aliens like War of the Worlds. It's more like E.T., a friendly little alien. So there's nothing scary at all. Even the aliens are very, very cute. There are some visual and audio gags that only parents will appreciate. For example, some buttons are pushed that make the musical theme from the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I don't know if you saw that, and I don't know if I even have the voice ability because I've been getting over the flu to even sing that. But if you've seen the movie, you know what that is. Anyway, I'm sure kids haven't seen that movie. Unusual for, oh, I already mentioned that uh, 
the stop motion has some or some CGI. Anyway, keep watching past the end credits for one final musical magical gag. Now, some things that I didn't like are that I'm surprised that more creativity wasn't used to design the alien Lula. She's just basically like a little blue dog. I mean, even her ears don't look like antenna. They look like you know, little dog ears, little floppy ears, and they do things that dog ears do. And so I was kind of surprised. Lula's alien parents look a little bit more alien-esque. And so anyway, maybe their goal was to not frighten children. I don't know. But it just seems like they're so creative in so many other ways that it would have been fun to have a really different type of creature. Many of the references offer a respectful nod to the magic of Steven Spielberg, E.T. specifically. However, some mo moments and even characters kind of feel more like rip-offs rather than respectful nods, like 2001, A Space Odyssey, or even Wally. -E. One of the characters basically looks like Wally. -E. You know, and I get it. Maybe they're trying to or show a robot character that kids would be familiar with so they know that it's a friendly robot. But even still, it just seemed like they could have been more creative. The musical montages, I think there are three of them, seem a little bit out of place with the rest of the film because of the style of the film. So other than that, movies that you definitely would want to see if you like this would be the first Shaun the Sheep movie and even Early Man, which is by the same studio, Ardman Studios. And of course, if your kids love the story, then you want to show them E.T. the Extraterrestrial if they haven't seen that already. All right, that's my review for now. I think that you'll, your, your very young children will get a kick out of it. Um, the adults and older kids might just get a little bored, but it's still cute. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you at the movies. Bye for now.